This week, Chandrayaan-3 successfully landed on the south pole of the moon. We're all curious to see what we find there. The moon has captivated the imagination of people since time immemorial. A Sanskrit poet named Appaya Dikshita speculates on the dark markings of the moon. What might they be? Ankanke pishashankire jalanidhe pankam pare menire sarangam kati chitcha sanjagadire bhuchaya maichan pare indo yad dalita indra nila shakala shyamam dari drishyate tat sandram nishi pita mandha tamasam what are those dark markings? Ankan kepi shashankire. Some say it's a rabbit. Jalani dehe pankam pare menire. And some others say it's mud picked up by the moon at the time of the turning of the ocean. Sarangam katichitcha sanjagadire. Some say it's a deer. Bhuchayam bhuchayam aichan pare. Some others say it's the shadow of the earth on the moon. But here's what I think. Indo yad dalita indra nila shakala shamam dari drishyate The darkness that can be seen spread across the moon. Dari drishyate tat sandram nishi pitam andha tamasam That's because every night the moon is drinking in darkness. And that darkness has sunk into his belly. So that's what we see when we look at the moon. The same curiosity that fueled this kind of poetic imagination, the same drive is now at work in actually visiting and exploring the moon. The imagery of the poetic world is a beautiful juxtapose to the discoveries of the physical world. And so I wish the Chandrayaan mission success in its future explorations on the moon and I hope that our curiosity both in the physical world and the poetic world continue unabated. As a side note, all of the components of the Chandrayaan mission have meaningful Sanskrit names. Chandrayaan itself means a lunar vehicle and the lander is called Vikram which means a heroic step. As Neil Armstrong said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That sentiment of a giant leap is what the name Vikram captures. The rover is called Pragnyan, which means specialized knowledge, Prakrishtadnyanam. It's going to be collecting information about the moon, relaying it back here, and enhancing our knowledge of the moon. So I congratulate the ISRO team in selecting very apt and meaningful Sanskrit names for all the components of their mission. I hope you all enjoyed and see you next time.